Hello Capricorn, welcome to your reading. This is your energy forecast for the week of 19th until the 26th of August. Let's get started with your messages. Messages for Capricorn. Okay, four of wands in the heart area. There could be a home situation here or something to do with the home. The four of wands is Aries energy, not necessarily Aries, but it has to do with leadership, milestones. Okay, I see the world talk about milestones. The world upright, it's a kind of graduation, widening of horizons, a new way being shown by the divine. It's like reaching the next level. And that came in a kind of inverted, the cross position. So there could be something about here, your world, your belonging, perhaps you are needing to to focus on, on your home. There could be a focus of your home here, like your physical home. In the past position, the star, Aquarius energy. There could be an Aquarius in the picture. The star is all about embodiment caring for self, you know, pouring into oneself. The star is still very generous at, at the same time. They're standing out. Number 17, you could be seen 17, 17. King of Wands, a reclamation of power. Feels like you are hitting a milestone here. Could be a situation that could want to cause conflict. I'm getting trying to put you in a corner. And you are perhaps your journey where you have built strengths are helping you to see beyond. Like even behind you. You see, this person in the world card is seen, is looking backwards. Same goes for the star. The king of wands as well is looking backwards. So there is that thing of the ability to see, to have eyes behind the head, <laughs> right? So that is what I'm getting. So you could be foreseeing some kind of conflict or you could be sensing this. It's coming from a home front there could be a couple in the picture but whoever this is feels like you are on top of this and this is showing up in this week so it could be something happening around you as well in the root position the devil capricorn energy in the crown area, Ace of Pentacles, that is a renewal, a portal. Could be someone wanting to come in or looking for a way in. Um, could be simply a new beginning, but I'm really seeing with this cards, this one's in the middle, going that way. Someone could be looking for a way in here or offering a new beginning. You as well could be having a, a renewal in some capacity. In the root area at the level of this, we have two of wands in the area of approach, knight of cups, outside influences. Queen of Pentacles, Hopes and Fears, and for the outcome, Page of Swords. I'm getting a lot of energies in your reading. Different capacities, because you see the heart area is showing the Four of Wands. Could be workplace, home. But this is your source of stability, security, and safety. This is what the highlight is.
and there's something to do with eyes behind the head so having a foresight with hands hindsight together with hindsight um now the area of approach it could be someone who is watching you from far someone could be approaching you and they've been watching you they're not moving though so how they approach you i don't know or you could be the one approaching them or needing to change direction maybe even in the physical it can be like you know when you need to do something and you changing your direction to get there to get to your destination that is where the four of wands is coming again the milestone is like it's all about getting to your destination right now and how you get there. You are needing to apply different tactics. The Knight of Cups with outside influences could be an offer coming in or you could be the one taking an offer. Could be a romantic invitation, a peace offer as well. The Queen of Pentacles with hopes and fears, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Now, this person is the Queen of Pentacles, is my number one card for like grounding, also the mother. So, there's something about connection with earth here finances a kind of focus and the page of swords is learning or watching with curiosity now the two of wands and page of swords it feels like you're being watched At the bottom of the deck, the full with the star. So both strong Uranus Aquarius energies. This is about a change in approach. It's like the whole week is requiring you to change your approach or the way you go about reaching your destination. Like achieving something. It's like ultimately you come to your milestone, but how you get there may be different. Not maybe, it's like it's requiring you to operate in a different way. The devil. Eight of cups. This is in the root area, so there could be a moving away that is happening. Or overall, living what is not serving you. So it's a kind of daring, daring yourself. I'm getting that daredevil energy here. And this is coming at the root area. So you could be daring yourself to do something different the ace of pentacles nine of cups so nine and eight is adding up to the star energy once again even though the eight and nine of cups are pisces energy so very mutable you see that shift again you could have a shape shifter around you but this has given me like whatever this is that is trying to shape shift. You also are shape shifting. And that in itself could be daring yourself because Capricorn is not a shape shifter. It's not mutable. It's more of cardinal. It takes action. Cardinal signs will usually see a point B and move from that point A to point B. But whatever this is, it's requiring you to go from A to B 
uh, A to C and then to B somehow. King of Wands. The Lovers. Gemini. There could be a Gemini in the picture. This could also be a decision. A decision that comes with hindsight. It's like you are seeing something for what it is. It's a kind of remembrance. Like you have to remember who you're dealing with here in order to be skillful, in order to be strategic, and in order to stay on track with your work or what gives you fulfillment overall. Page of Swords. Ace of Wands. Someone is definitely furious here. You see the Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. This is an explosive energy. Knight of Cups with the Sun. So there is a The Knight of Cups could be a Divine Masculine, could be a Masculine Energy. Nine of Swords with Queen of Pentacles. Hopes and Fears. So there is a focus here. I have to say that <laughs> this is not a, it's not a jolly reading. It's just something that needs to be done. It's not coming as Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, you know, new beginning. It's not that straightforward. Like, none of this is straightforward. That is the point. <laughs> none of this is straightforward. It's a kind of maneuver. Going on. Two of Wands. Six of Cups. You see that Six of Cups is also going towards the past. Same goes for the Lovers, the Archangel here. And this is regarding your sense of security, your home. So it could even be some work. Okay. Feels like you're ending this week overall with light. With a lot of light. This week is going to build you up like no other. <laughs> be prepared. It's going to build you up. You're going to be daring yourself to be to be something you have not been. You've built that up before, but then it feels like you are doing something entirely different this week. But then it makes sense. The full moon energies coupled with that being in Aquarius. Aquarius is all about the ruling planets are Uranus and then we have Saturn, which is also a co-ruler for the main ruling planet for capricorn so this somehow is impacting you as well now the way this is impacting you is very different in the sense that you are meeting a different planet uranus right this is all about a lot to do with surprises innovations like that ace of one's energy so perhaps, yeah, it surprises innovations. It's like you are daring. That daring is a form of surprise. You are innovating something that you haven't innovated before. And it's going to come as a challenge, but then you're going to be proud of yourself. <laughs> wow. Yeah, this is a new kind of innovation, that's for sure. You see that Queen of Pentacles is sitting down, sitting, focusing... So this could be some project, some learning adventure.
So the Nine of Swords ultimately could be talking about losing sleep to achieve what you want or to get to your milestone. So get ready here. Um, again, I'm not getting all jolly, but at the same time, it sounds exciting. It's new, that's for sure. With the star and the fool facing the other direction, I feel you have built up your strengths from situations where you have given too much of yourself that you may have bled, yeah, literally, in these situations. And this is serving as a strength for you in this new cycle. So you are living this week an entirely different person. Get ready. It could be something new coming into your life and you're needing to make space. Uh, it could be something you are leaving behind. And that in itself is you releasing heavy energies of like that could have kept you stuck in the past, that could have kept you in conflict either way there is a there's a release that is going on and a maneuver the devil again at the bottom of the deck so this is very much again that explosive energy I'm getting passion What a guardian. Connect with your emotions. Medicine guardian. Be open to healing information. Blue and green. At the bottom of the deck, we have high priest intend and create. And this is what your week feels like. It's a mixture. It's not a straightforward kind of week. Not like any week is anyway, but it feels like this one, you're coming in. In many ways, you are looking behind in order to look forward. And as you look behind, you're seeing that it is not, you're not getting there in a straight way like it's not in a straight direction it has to be ziggy zaggy <laughs> yeah that kind of thing so perhaps you connecting not only with your emotions but your intuition so to speak is helping you with this intuition. It's giving you the GPS. Like that in a GPS. And the medicine guardian could be some healing that is going on all at the same time. I see that queen of pentacles as well to be to do with mother wounds. And Chiron is in the sign of Aries. So yeah, that could explain a lot. There's healing going on in that area. Um, and that reduces our, it helps us to reduce hyper focusing and come back to what matters again and again. So where we may feel like we're going deep, we come on the surface. Where we feel we are too on the surface, we go like in between. The high priest is, yeah, that manifestation. It's like you are connecting with both divine feminine and divine masculine this week. And that is where the challenge could be. High priest is 43. 
Recognize that you have the power to change your life. Face your fear and align with the light. In many traditions, the high priest is the physical embodiment of the divine masculine. He acts as a bridge between worlds and is able not only to divine the future, but to help create it too. Inspired by the ancient Egyptians, this priest is the divine consort to the high priestess. He is depicted with a hawk, which is sacred to the Egyptian god Horus, and holding a wand of Anubis, the Egyptian guide to the underworld. The high priest is always spiritually connected and disciplined, with great, with great respect for his creator and his particular practice. In a reading, this card can represent a spiritual figure, leader or teacher in your life, or an aspect of your path that has led you to where you are today. You are a bridge between heaven and earth, and it's important for you to know that you are more powerful and connected than you may think. Everything you are giving attention and energy to at this time is creating your way forward. There have been some setbacks, but accept these as experiences that have led you to a deeper understanding of yourself and your spirit. Know that you are being guided by the ancestors to direct your thoughts and energies towards what you want to grow, heal and expand, and then watch it happen right before your eyes. Okay. Expression. You need work that lets you express your creative self, and you could do the, you could do well at writing, blogging, or a career in communication. Okay, Capricorn, I hope that this message was helpful. I wish you a blessed week and I'll see you with more videos. Do take care. Bye-bye.